Hey there, at Mac users, Mac Automators. This is Bakari Shivano with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I'm back with another video about a audio notebook called Audio Pen. And basically what this does is an AI notebook that allows you to speak and it transcribes what you say or summarizes what you say and is working right now. I'm using it right now as we speak. So let me turn to it really quickly and tell you, as you see as I'm talking right now, this Audio Pen is listening to what I am saying. And basically what it's gonna do after I click the button it is going to summarize uh, what I say. Now the big difference between between audio pen and say maybe Dragon Dictator or something like that, or even uh, some of the text-to-speech uh, features in Mac OS X or iOS is that you don't have to, you know, specifically articulate each sentence and punctuation. Basically, you can just talk and ramble almost as much as you want and emphasize your points and it will pick it up as it goes along. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do here is stop and see the results. And I'm going to click click my style. So I'm going to go down to uh, write like me. Okay, so I'm going to use that particular style. And basically what it's going to do is doing this magic right now. And so we'll see it happen. All right, so here you go. Introduction, introducing audio pen. So basically, you see what it says here. Hey, Mac users and Mac automators, this is Bakar Shabab. So you got my name wrong. And basically, I'm gonna show you what you can do to that. I haven't done it yet, but you can put special names in the settings right here and it will recognize it. So I should have did that before I did this uh, video. But anyway, um, so I you know put my name so I can know and recognize what uh, the spelling of my name is. But anyway, um, this is Bakar Shabab from Mac Automation Macintosh Tips got that wrong so I need to put that in the spelling as well back with another video about an audio notebook called audio pen essentially audio pen is an AI powered notebook that transcribes and or summarizes your spoken words I'm using it right now as we speak or as I speak as you can see, while I'm talking, Audio Pen listens to everything I say. Once I click the button, it will summarize my speech. The key difference between Audio Pen and tools like Dragon Dictate or the text to speech features in Mac OS or iOS is that you don't have you don't need to meticulously uh, articulate each sentence in punctuation. You can talk freely, ramble if you wish, and emphasize your points naturally. Audio pen will capture it all. So let's dive into let's dive into how it works. So basically, that's pretty good. I, um, it's a really good summarization, and it also kind of cleans up your what you're trying to say and make to make it look presentable. So um, I really like this. I found about I found out about Audio Pen yesterday uh, morning and um, I pretty much spent almost two hours yesterday just playing around with it and getting to learn it. And by the end of the day, I had ordered the uh, premium version of Audio Pen because I am just really uh, elated and and excited and pleased about what it can do. And so I want to show you some of the features here. So basically, this is how you, this is the input here that comes out in cards. And then you can add tags here if you like. So I can say if I wanted to make this an audio pen tag, which I've already done numerous of those. And so you can do that. And you can also create, uh, you can put them in a folder as well. I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to do folders or not. I think sometimes tags are enough, but I'm, I'm playing around with that. And then if you have the premium version, you can come back and then you can append to a note. So you can add more to it if you if you want and then you can go up here and I'm not going to do it right now but you can go up here and click the styles well let me just do this now I'll show you so you can go up here and you can uh, click the style that you can change the style that you want so it's explore styles here and so you see you have different preset styles and you can create custom styles so your styles might be hey I want to convert this to a list right and I might uh, write, uh, write like me um, basically what you do a write like me is you place this text with some text that you've already um, you know you know written before and so one of the things you might do is allow um, you know allow audio pen to summarize something that you dictate right and then 
go back and then write that write about that same topic yourself manually and then just c t uh, copy and paste that in here and then that'd be your writing style and then you can kind of compare the two you can compare how audio pen results and then with your own um you know manual writing right so you can have you know book note style technical styles medical styles twitter thread right and you can also create your own custom styles like i created one for numbered list um action items that kind of thing and uh so yeah you can just do this here and then you can choose one and it will redo the style so let's just go in just for just to, for demo uh case i'm going to choose uh this right here to rewrite into a list a bulleted list so let's do that all right so you see right there it is changed to a bullet a bulleted list right here so this would be a, a bulleted list would be probably if you're writing a little bit i mean if you're dictating a little bit long or you have just some really good points that you want to elaborate on but again it shows you what you can do here with that and so basically um they show up here and um you know, you, you all your all your results here, your summaries show up in this kind of gallery view, but you also can change it to kind of a list view right here if you want. And uh, I, I like the gallery view. This is a great app for journaling, uh, for quick notes, um, just for brainstorming ideas or brain dump. Um, it's a really good app for that, and it's really pretty accurate. Um, yesterday, I was um, out on my bike and actually um, did one here. Um, and, and did a bike test when I was out riding I had my eyes uh, on and it was windy and it was you know cars coming by and it still picked it up really really well and so I wrote about that here another thing that you can do here too is you can um, you can oops get rid of that you can um, share this you can you can publish it to your own but you know your own um, audio pin page right and so you can do that um you can do an e email at twitter whatsapp uh, mail to self right so you can do that and share it out really really easy and and that looks great as well and it, and the that page really looks really looks nice and basically what it allows you to do is you can do a what's called a flash where you where the whatever you post just stays there for about six days um or seven days and then you can unpublish it or you can have it where it'll stay there indefinitely right and then if you start sharing it out people can you know like it and have you or what have you so this is really really neat uh, in that regard and then you can also you know create an image and what that means is it pretty much creates an image like like this you I think you can go in and customize the um, colors you know the accent the color accent say from say orange here to green or, or something like that so that's what that does and you can also copy um, the text or copy it here and also you can delete it another thing you want to notice here too is that it automatically uh, suggest and, and writes a, a title for you as well now for some reason when you copy it does not automatically uh, copy the, the the title i'm not sure why but anyway you know just for inside the the app um you know it, it copies and it creates a title for each one which is a huge huge time saver to me and so right now audio pen is a web app so you know you use i think he's in the process of creating an ios app so if you're on the on the iphone you would just kind of you know open the page on the iphone and save it to the home page and it still works just fine all right and so that's what it's been basically that's the there's a lot of other features in the um the premium version in the free version you really only get about three minutes of dictation and about 10 um uh, summaries right so you probably will have to if you want to keep using it for free you would have to delete um the, the summaries after you get past you know after you get to 10 you might have to delete delete the ones that you don't want or what have you and limit your uh dollar to three minutes when the premium version you get 15 minutes and unlimited uh summaries and dictate you know so uh you know yeah summary so that's that's a lot better and you also get um a lot of other features um you can you know like um create what's called super summaries and basically what that does is that you know if you select these like say three of these right here basically all it will do is that it will um 
it will it will just kind of merge these together. It won't really merge them, but they'll put all three in one note. It doesn't. The AI doesn't look at all three and then create a brand new note. It just creates you know a new another note with all three of these kind of in it. So that's what that super uh, summary is, right? Let me clear that out. And so you can do that. Another thing that's really great about this too is that when you're doing a, a you know, a, let's go right here. So you can go here. It's like I'm talking right now. Basically what you can do is you can pause, which is really great because if you are trying to just kind of think through your thoughts and everything and you don't want to, you don't want it to keep, um, you know, recording, you can just pause or maybe you just want to pause it and come back um, you know, a few minutes later or an hour later or whatever and keep adding to it. That's a great thing as well. So in that premium version, you get the ability to pause and resume uh, recordings, right? And then also you get to... Um, you know, add tags to your notes, for example. You can restyle your existing notes. So if you have a note, you can go in here and go up here and you can push this button like I showed you and then restyle that note to some, to some other style. So that's another thing. So there's there is several, um, you know, features that are beneficial for the premium and probably if you you know if you're going to use this you probably will go to, to the premium i you know the premium is uh, 99 dollars a year um i think that's you know it's a hefty price but i plan on using this every day um probably sometimes even several times a day because i think it's going to be a huge time saver right i don't think that it replaces your own kind of writing process if you will i don't think that is is the you know the best tool for writing an entire blog for example um i would use something like i use mem for example um to do that to kind of draft my blog post and then i revise them um in wordpress but you know, if you're really good at getting really good at doing audio, uh, audio uh, speaking and dictation, right? And you might be able to do it. I, I just, it's for me, it's better for just kind of quick, um, you know, uh, 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 notes and, and ideas and thoughts. And then one other thing too that I can't really show you right now, but they have a Chrome extension. So when you when you pin that, um, you know, you pin audio uh, audio pin in your Chrome toolbar or whatever. Um, your browser toolbar you can just click on it and then it will pop up to open from the uh, right side and then you can do the same thing that you're doing here right so that's a really that's really convenient too so what, whatever um, you know a web page you're in you just want to stop in and, and do some some dictation you can do that and, and that's really really handy so I, it was really easy for me to get sold on this um, very quickly um, I, I think the the developer has done a great job of, you know, designing the user interface of this. It is easy and smooth to use. I haven't really had too many problems. I think one or two times when I was out bike riding, it got hung up a little bit. But for the most part, um, it, it really did well. So I plan to use it in my car sometimes when I'm just driving and want to talk some notes out. So, yeah, I hope you like this. And. This is audio pen. Definitely give it a try. I have a, an affiliate link um, at the bottom, uh, uh, you know, in descriptions here in, in, in of the video. And so definitely use my uh, affiliate link to get. Um, I think I get a certain portion if you if you uh, purchase the uh, the premium version. I really appreciate that. So if you found this video helpful, please let me know. Um, if you have some questions about audio opinion, let me know about that. And just let me know how, you know, what, what do you think about it when, and how does it turn out for you if you decide to get it. Definitely try, try out the free version for sure. And just kind of, you know, spend some time with it and see how good it is. It's really not that difficult to use. All right. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.